If you want to do good field research, you usually need a good support system. Moat's new building allows us to have that. At IC2R3, we have incredible capabilities of collaborating with dry lab space and field support. In addition to all that, there's a wet lab environment, both indoor and outdoor. Ocean acidification has been called things like the evil twin of climate change or the other carbon dioxide problem. It is causing some difficulties for organisms that live in the ocean. What's really great about this facility is our capacity to really replicate a lot of communities in these numerous raceways. This is a really great place to do ocean acidification research. So here in the Molecular Biology Laboratory, we incorporate multiple different molecular techniques to look at the DNA of different organisms. What I love about the research labs here at Moat Marine Laboratory is that we offer so many resources that will help answer so many questions. Understanding disease dynamics in relation to coral reefs is incredibly important for trying to allow these reefs to recover and become some type of ecosystem similar to what we've had in the past. What we'll do is we'll take a large piece of coral and cut them into centimeter squares. And so the idea is that we're reskinning the reef and we're also making the corals sexually mature faster so that, that they can, within two and a half to three and a half years, reseed the reefs themselves. The real key is the way in which we're putting them out the densities and the genotypic diversity. We have several hundred structures, each growing 100 corals or more. Because Moat is down here, we can work on tens of thousands of corals at a time. They provide protection from shoreline by absorbing wave energy. They provide novel sources for compounds that we can use to fight things like cancer or antibiotic resistant bacteria. And they're the foundation for tourism in the fishing industry of the state of Florida and are estimated to be worth at least six billion dollars to our state economy. And so I think informing the public is really the biggest way to enact change. If the public doesn't know what's happening, how can we fix anything that's happening in the ocean?